Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Child of God, the Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. The Lord honor you. Beloved, today the Lord says it is time to decree and say, I refuse to return back to the valley. On Monday, the Lord Almighty began with us on this journey of victory. He began with us on this journey of delivering us out of the valley. But believe you me, beloved, when the Lord lifts men out of valley, there are still forces of darkness that can still pursue the person to bring the person back to the valley. And that is why the Lord Almighty led it very strong in my spirit that we should block every of these powers that draw men backward into what the Lord has delivered them from. And these powers are the powers that deals on putting people into bondage for life. You know, the Bible told us something in the book of Exodus chapter 14, verses 8. If you read 8 and 9, it says, And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and he pursued after the children of Israel. And the children of Israel went out with a high hand. They went out with an high hand. The same way the Lord used his high hand to pull you and I out of the valley. And in verses 9, it says, but the Egyptians pursued after them with all their horses and shadows, with Pharaoh and the horsemen and the army. And they overtook the children of Israel by the sea beside Pihahirot uh, before Bezephon. And what exactly was the mission of Pharaoh for pursuing them? Pharaoh wants to take them out, out of their part of locating the promised land and put them back into captivity. But the Lord Almighty said never. In fact, it got to a point that the children of Israel became so afraid. But that same day, in verses 30 of that same Exodus chapter 14, the Bible said that thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel, and Israel saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. The, Egyptian, the Israelites saw the Egyptians. All of them were dead on the seashore. Why? Because whoever the Lord has set free is free indeed. No evil is allowed to be added to it. I don't know who is actually angry now that you have been delivered from the valleys that have put in you spiritually. I don't know who is angry right now that the Lord Almighty with his mighty hand has pulled you out of that problem that you used to go through before and that from now that things will begin to work well for you. But hear me, child of God, the same way the Lord made the Egyptians, made Pharaoh, their shadows, everything they had, dead bodies, that is how God is going to deal with them today. And that is why I want those who agree in prayers and say, Father, I refuse to return back to the valley. I refuse to return back to that suffering. I refuse to return back to that slavery. Any man or woman, any power, any spirit, any authority that want to put me back into valleys of financial lack, into valleys of career lack, into valleys of no job. I don't know the valley that the Lord has moved you out of in the course of our prayer on Monday. But I want you to pray and say, Father, any power that want to push me back into the valley, Lord, as I begin to pray now, let that power let that man let that woman be dead right now let them be destroyed by fire let them be destroyed by fire in the order of pharaoh let them be drowned today let pharaoh and his gods be destroyed forever some of you have left this condition before and right now you have returned back to that same condition say father not anymore arise for me today pull me out of this valley forever and anybody that wants to push me back to this valley let that person be strong dead any power any altar that they will ever raise up to push me out into, into valley again into problems again into court cases again into marital valleys again lord let them and then the problem be destroyed together deliver me today lord and let my deliverance be forever in the name of jesus christ amen beloved i pray for you as the lord almighty has lifted you out of that valley i decree you are free and free indeed in the name of jesus christ amen 
Beloved, we are still praying. If not for the valleys that you have been into for years, I know there is a height you would have attained before now. But because you have found yourself in different valleys of problem, you have not been able to attain that height. I want you to pray and say, Lord, Father, as you have delivered me from this valley forever, Lord, give me speed to pursue, to overtake everyone that have gone ahead of me in my line of profession, in my line of calling, in my line of, 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 of assignment. I don't know what draws you back and push you into the valley, but say, oh God of divine speed, release upon me speed to be able to recover back every of my wasted years. Lord, restore back to me every of the resources I would have acquired, everything, every height I would have attained in life but this valley situation has stopped me from getting there Lord give me supernatural speed to pursue in business to pursue in career to pursue financially to pursue in ministry to pursue and to overtake even those that have gone ahead of me put me back oh Lord on the track of my life hey Lord leads me and put me where I am supposed to be by now if not for these valley experiences and let your name alone be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, I pray for you today. I don't know what you would have acquired before now, but because you found yourself in the valley, you were not able to acquire those things. But today I pray for you. That thing you have wasted, you have actually lost. That speed you need. May the Lord release it upon you for total recovery. May the Lord release upon you speed for total recovery of all your wasted years, of all your wasted times, of all your wasted opportunities. May he push you forward in a hurry and put you in a place where you are supposed to be, if not for that valley experience. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, we are still praying. Some of you, you are, you are still under the yoke of the valley, even though you are out of the valley. You saw what happened to the life of Lazarus. The Bible told us that Lazarus, as soon as Jesus said to him, come forth, he came forth, he came alive, but he was still tied with the grave clothes. I don't know the kind of valley you have been into. There are some yokes, there are some, there are some grave clothes, there are some attire that are putting on you. That is why even when the children of Israel were in the wilderness, journeying towards their land of victory, their land flowing with milk and honey, they did not forget about cucumber, they did not forget about onions, they did not forget about Egypt. Below, it is expected that when you leave the valley, the chains of the valley, the yokes of the valley should have leave you. But some of you are still carrying the chains even though you are out of the valley even though Jesus has called you forth you are alive but the signs and symptoms of the sickness is still there you are going to pray and say father every of the baggages I carried from the valley every of the yokes of the valley that is upon my life that has cleaved to my finances that has cleaved to my destiny Lord as I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost let those yokes break let those chains break let those demonic coffins break off my life right now, off my ministry right now, off my career right now. Every yokes of the valley, every yokes of the valley, I break free from you now. I break free from you now. I break free from you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Lord, deliver me now from the yokes of the valley. Deliver me now from the yokes of the valley. Deliver me now from the yokes of the valley. Ah, set me free, Lord, and may I be free and be free indeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't know the yokes of the valley that has clipped to your ministry, that has clipped to your business, that has clipped to your finances. I have refused to go. Jesus said to them that were beside Lazarus, He said to them, Lose him and let him go. Beloved, today I stand upon that word of Jesus and I command every yoke of the valley, every chains of the valley. Hey, as I anoint my hand right now with this anointed oil, and as the word of God cannot be broken, as the word 
God says that by the reason of the anointed, every yoke must be broken. And so every will turn down. Let the yoke of the valley, let the chains of the valley, let the clothing of the valley that has cleaved to your life, that has cleaved to your business, that has cleaved to your marriage, that has cleaved to your relationship, break off your life now. Break off your destiny. Break off your ministry. Break off your destiny. Break off every department of your life. Be free now from every valley and everything that comes with it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to pray and say, Father, in case there is anything at all I have lost in the valley that I have not recovered, Lord, as I pray now, I demand total recovery. Total recovery, total recovery. Everything I have lost in the valley that I have not recovered, that I have not recovered. Lord Jesus, recover it for me and put my life in order again. Everything I have lost in the valley that I have not recovered, Lord Jesus Christ, recover it back for me now and put my life in, in, in order, put my destiny in order, put my ministry in order, deliver me forever and let my deliverance be forever indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to fire that prayer. Say, Father, in case there is anything that is remaining that is mine, that I forgot in the valley. Lord, today as I pray, let those things, oh Lord, be recovered back for me. Be restored back for me. Be recovered back for me. Be restored back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything at all I've lost in the valley that I've not gotten back. Lord, restore back to me. Lord, restore it back to me. Lord, restore it back to me. Lord, restore it back to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Beloved, I pray for you. Any man or woman that is the enemy of your freedom, that will rise up with any kind of ritual, with any kind of incantation, to put you back into valley. And so a man will turn down before they finish thinking about it. May they receive heart attack and die. May the Lord strong them dead. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that the Lord Almighty will build a wall of protection round about you that no evil force of the enemy that no evil wind of the enemy will blow you back into valley again will blow you back into valley again be delivered from the valley now be delivered from the valley now be delivered from the valley now in the name of Jesus Christ as the Lord has set you free I decree you are free indeed and you are not returning back to that valley again in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen 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 beloved I pray for you today may the Lord of speed the Lord of total restoration abide with you and give you supernatural speed that you will recover back everything you have lost in life and destiny and you will return back with your testimony six months from now and maximum one year from now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you declare with me and say, Lord, I thank you because I am free indeed from the valley and I'm not returning back to any valley again for life. Father, I thank you because I am free from the valley and I'm not returning back again to any valley of any sort. Thank you, Father, for delivering me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. It is settled. God Almighty bless you all. Beloved, sorry, we are not going to pray much today. Uh, the Lord actually led me that we should conclude that prayer that we began on Monday. Please, watch this, share with your friends, and uh, keep on praying, keep on praying. Tomorrow we are coming live here again to actually lambano and pray the more. And the Lord is surely going to answer us. If there is any friend of yours, any sister, any brother that needs prayer this season, tell them that I'm always live online, Mondays to Fridays. Let them join me on YouTube and let us pray. That problem must bow at the sound of the name of Jesus. As we cry to Jesus, that problem must bow. And we all shall be set free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Don't forget, beloved. 
to subscribe in case you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel. I still remain your sister, Apostle Amaka. See you tomorrow, 2 p.m. Nigerian time. Till then, God bless you. Bye for now.